Hello, elites, and welcome back to Saints Row 2, episode 25. And in this episode, I look very sexy compared to last time. <laughs> I don't know what my voice went into that time. I, I just sound kind of... What is it? What is it, German? I don't know. I don't know what I did there. <laughs> so let's do this running mission. Here we go. Saints 7. Cutscene time! What's up with the dollhouse? Dollhouse my ass. This is how we gonna fuck up the Ronin. This'll be good. Trust me, it is. The Ronin have a stake in Poseidon's palace, so I figure hitting their biggest money maker is a good way to show them we not fucking around. Okay, so what's the plan? You and I enter the casino here. Once inside, we need to distract this security guard. I was thinking you could catch me cheating or some shit like that. Anyway, while the guard's concerned with throwing me out, Gatto sneak in through this security door. Don't worry. I already got today's passcode from the blackjack dealer Shandy's fucking. Now once inside, Gatto have to sneak past the guards to cut the power. And when that happens, we only have about 45 seconds before the backup generator turns on. During the blackout, yo, yo, yo. though... Hold up, man. I mean, I love the dream house you built here and everything. But what if we just start here, walk into the casino, and just shoot all the motherfuckers that are between us and the money? Well, you know... It will be a lot faster. And a lot more fun. Yeah, but... Fuck it, let's go. Good call, Johnny. Awesome. <laughs> Cutscene number one of the day. Alright. So let's get in this car. Uh, okay, they're duplicates, but whatever. It's because I tried recording earlier, and then it was acting retarded. You know, the sound as usual. As usual. Because Roxy, I think they're so... They think they're so good at making devices. Game captures and stuff. They're not. Yo, man, I'm not paying for that. Whatever, Johnny. <laughs> Johnny, I'm commentating, not you. <laughs> You're cool, though. You gotta love what I got planned for the Ronin. All right. Who's in charge of the Ronin? A kid named Shogo Okuji. Now he probably spends more time on his head than he does on his bike, but it doesn't change the fact that he's totally ruthless. Shogo. Have fun with that kid. No. Oh. Hey, where's Pierce? What does that mean? Pierce is picking up some of the other saints and meeting us there. I figure we can get the party started without him. Pierce is slow. Like, <laughs> I feel kind of sorry for him. Like, <laughs> like his character. Like, I just feel sorry. They downgraded him. They're like, Pierce, he can't do shit. He always needs to be handheld. You know. Ugh! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> yes, that was. That was MLG right there. I'm happy I caught that on, on camera this time. <laughs> that was MLG. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna enter the casino, the casino, and there's gonna be some fools right here. Yep. We know how to know. I picked up the shotgun earlier off of friendly fire. It's a really good like automatic shotgun. You know, it's just like boom, 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 boom. I'm like, damn, damn, D A Y U M. <laughs> Seriously, that's really strong. All right, it's too strong. Oh, what the hell? These guys are like all over the place. All right, so get that guy out of there. So that way. Gak can do his job. No! Hostage versus hostage. Oh, okay. <laughs> of course, his was just, just a little bag filled with meat that I could just shoot. Okay. Johnny, what are you doing? Aren't you supposed to be setting explosives? Stop waiting for me to kill all these fools. Alright, there's two more. Here it comes. Yep. No! No! Stupid reload. At least it's quick, right? And it's not like. A shotgun, like a real, like a crappy shotgun, where it's like, done. It's like, damn. Like, that takes forever. Why do these guys keep spawning in? No! I just killed one. No, another one wants to spawn. Really? I saw it. I saw him spawn on the map. Wow. Okay, uh, let's try that. That's fun to display. It's all shiny and glowing here. I like it. Shut up and put your money where your mouth is. That's what you get for waking up in Vegas. Okay, I'm gonna stop seeing. 
Uh, oh, really, Johnny? Oh, thank God I noticed him. He didn't die. He died. I didn't notice. I didn't notice. Uh, so if you guys were screaming at me, being like, Revive Johnny! I would have been like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sincerely sorry. I have not been concentrating on that. I'm concentrating on where these fools are coming in from. This one hiding behind here. Really? He's running? Huh? Yeah. Running to die. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna flip your pancakes. Whoa, well, actually. Did you end up? Did you end up much? <laughs> Alright. I'm glad I'm getting out of my cold. At least, you know. I'm not in the, uh. I'm in the. Finally getting over it. Like a. Uh, lover. Oh god! Like a love relationship, basically. <laughs> Where it, you're still not over a little bit, but you are. You're barely getting over it. Um, I'm coughing, but... Oh, Johnny's down. I see it. Okay, well, let's kill this guy. Uh, wait. Get out of here. Alright. So you, and let's go revive Johnny before he dies. Don't die! Ew, he's kissing the wall. But yeah, it's like that. Where I'm right now. Oh. <laughs> Right now, all I have are the sniffles, where my nose is stuffy, and it's out the side like this. Oh god, keep away from the bomb. Johnny, run! No! Johnny! Okay, you dummy. Oh, he can survive. He's badass. His badass level is, like, high. Higher than someone I know. Yeah. <laughs> ah, uh, a half cutscene, really? Okay, why do I feel like the semi was supposed to park where the purple car was? <laughs> wow. THQ, you're lazy. Well, they call the cops. Big surprise there. Yep. Alrighty. We're gonna make this long trip there. Well, that went pretty well. Yep. Yeah, but before we start buying new cars, we better clean this money. Well, I figure if these guys are gonna keep on talking, then I'm not gonna. We'll find a place to hide the cash before we can worry about cleaning it. Yeah, I'm not gonna cut the video, I guess. Oh, I'll take it to Isis. Oh my gosh. Really? Well, I didn't think she'd be down for that. Yeah, it should be fun. Really? <laughs> In case you haven't noticed yet, I love how English people speak. I love it. Look at the So fucking much that I want to practice the accent myself. But I'm still terrible at it. <laughs> okay, this cop is tailing us like he's. I'll break anyone that steps to me. Like he's MLG, but he's not. Cutscene time! It's cutscene time! <laughs> I'll be quiet now. Kono Kaji no no Kenni Kenwa, Akuji san wa chotto. Junichi, you need to relax. Akuchi-san kara akatsu no wa muri nano dewa. My father won't find out about the casino. So nani amoku wa nai desu. Don't question me, Junichi. And we're in America. Speak English. Forgive me, Shogo. A little jumpy today? Nah. <laughs> Over there. <laughs> Sword. Listen, Junichi. I know you're having a hard time adjusting to the way I run things here. Oh, no. But how about you let me deal with my father, and you deal with whatever the fuck I tell you to deal with? Of course, Shogo. Excellent. Shogo, please. I thought that was some orange chicken he was bringing. I was about to be like, oh girl! <laughs> well, now I know that impression is 100% uh, perfect. Oh wow, we can go ahead and do the next mission right now. Laundry day, nice. Cutscene time, I'm guessing. Why is there a big pile of money on the coffee table? It's a little complicated. We shot up a Ronin casino and stole the cash. And you brought that shit here. Ish. Who else we gonna trust with the money? But the Ronin know you stole it, right? Well, they wouldn't have if we would've went with my plan. Yeah, well, if we went with your plan, we'd still be talking about it. Fuck off, Gat. Excuse me? Shut up. We're on. 
heist has left the police baffled. Standing next to me is Chief of Police, Troy Bradshaw. Chief, how's the investigation going? This is an investigation, Miss Valderrama. I can't get into details. Can you say anything about the Third Street Saints' involvement? I don't know what you're talking about. This leaked security footage shows the leader of the Saints, recent fugitive and Saint Lieutenant Johnny Gatt, as well as an unknown accomplice assaulting the casino. Obviously, the Third Street Saints are back after a long hiatus. All right! Woo! Oh, God. Unknown accomplice, my ass! Miss Valder. Also, reports claim that Altor is pressing the police department for a quicker response. One of Altor's investments was robbed. Of course, they want their money back. All right, all right, we've had our 15 minutes. Let's clean this money. Our 15 minutes. Our 15 minuscule minutes. Do you even know how to launder money? It's not complicated. Buy stuff one place, sell it someplace else. Yeah. This ain't gonna work. Peace, please. Please. Relax, I know how to launder money. I know what the hell I'm doing. It's like when you steal from Walmart. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Oh my gosh. Well, you know what's weird about Walmart customers now? Is they have changed. It used to be like, just regular people. And now, it's just like, poor people. Well, not all the time, but like... Not making fun of anyone, but it's just like now it's just some of those people who like live next to the slums. I heard you were looking to unload a classic. I do, but my baby doesn't come cheap. Money's no object. Green hair. <laughs> okay, but yeah, uh, I go there, and those people stay there so long for the day, and so many times they go there. Rollers are coming your way. I told you this was a bad idea. Pierce, now I see why people don't respect you. The rolling ain't stopping me. Cause you be interrupting me. <laughs> but seriously, they go there so many times, so frequently, they're almost always there. They know the workers' names. They know the workers' relationships between each other. And they know where everything is that they could almost work for. When someone is like, excuse me, when they when they're asking, they're talking, I am I'm, I'm a different customer. I've never been to this Walmart. I'm talking to the worker there, excuse me, do you know where the um, panties are? And then this chick who lives there on a, on a freaking, um, wait. Word is, you're the guy to talk to about military grade weapons. You look a little fancy to be starting a junta, but I got some toys I think you'll like. And then this chick on a little buggy from who goes to Walmart all the time. And if you get this reference, 100 points to you. Um, she's just like, oh, it's down over there. And I'm like, oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. And the, the, the worker, she's like, what the hell just happened? You just took my job. <laughs> Seriously, I've been there and that happened to me like two times in the amount of time I've been there. I haven't been to Walmart in a while now. I don't like it too much anymore. It's boring. I only go there when I need stuff, like necessities, stuff like the other. And yeah, so that's that's my story about Walmart. And let's get these fools out of here. Stop following me. <laughs> Laundering time. I'm looking to unload some merch. Can you help? Okay, I can use all that stuff. Let's go to my stash. Let's go to my stash. She looks like a mom. Why would she lie? <laughs> Stillwater is full of some weird, funny people. At least in Saints Row 2 and Saints Row 1. That's what I love about the fucking people in this in these two games. Third game, they don't say anything crazy. I mean, they do, but they're not like as crazy as these people here from Stillwater. I'm thinking Stillwater people are more crazy than Steelport people. <laughs> Steelport people are generic. Stillwater people are freaking unique. You have a mom that drug deals. She's a trafficker. Holy freaking crap. Alright, so... We're going over there, I'm gonna mark... Oh, yeah. I was gonna mark a waypoint, I was gonna be like, um, but never mind. Cause, she knows where she's going. I think. Alright, so we're gonna get followed here and there, and I have a... Um, really nice gun. Scare those guys. <laughs> it's fun to scare them when you drive by. Get out of here! I don't want to. Oh, that would be cool if I like knocked his um 
bike into the train and just like blew up. That would have been dramatic. Or like an action movie, it would have been like, Burr! and it would have went off the rails. Hell yeah. Hashtag action movie. Is the whole movie. town trying to kill you? Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Ah, get out of my face. Try to drive around in front of me. No, what the hell? What is this? Really I'm about to pull out a rocket launcher on these fools. I'm just gonna use this grenade for now. In the meantime. Get out of here. No one wants you following me. Move. If you if you saw your friends clearly die in front of you like that, why would you follow us, stupid? They obviously you have a death wish. What the heck? She could have just turned. She could have kept going and then turned right. What the hell? I know the water better than this chick. I had this place mapped out in my coma. <laughs> no, move, stupid. Freaking idiot, really? Get out of here. I don't like when idiots don't know how to drive. Okay, we're here. Dang. I was like, what the hell? We're here. We're touching the blue thing. Gosh. What's going on? Shogo is explaining our failure to his father. Mr. Akuchi doesn't sound happy. That's because his son has brought him much shame. Akuji-san is coming to America to teach Shogo how to lead. Is that good or bad? That depends on who you are. We need the saints taken care of before my father arrives. What would you have me do? What do you think I want you to do? Get some of our boys and kill them! Cool. So we're gonna end this episode here, you guys. It was fun, this episode. I liked it. It was fun. It wasn't bad. The run in our movers, you know. Um, yeah. Uh, let's end it on the striped building. That's, that's cool. Just for effect. If this window wasn't here, it would look cool. Oh, well. Alright, well, leave a like if you enjoyed. Blah, blah, blah. All the usual stuff I say. Goodbye, elites.